without land to grow on, future generations of British Columbians will be totally dependent on others for food. We're almost there now. Maybe we should uh, go and ask BCers if they want that, if they want to be totally dependent on the rest of the world for food. I don't think so, Honourable Speaker. The last I heard when British Columbians were asked, what they wanted to see was uh, at least 80% of British Columbians said, we support the ALR. It was good legislation, it's been good for 40 years and we ought to keep it and carry on with it, not find a way to drive a Mack truck through it and, and to allow all friends and insiders from local communities and regions to start carving up the land base and giving it away and, and forgetting the original purpose, not only for British Columbians, but for the world. We have an obligation for the world, and, I, and that's why I wanted to focus on what's happening with uh, population increases. You know, I read a scientist said that in order to be sustainable in just a few years, we're going to have to have one and a half worlds. Well, where are we going to find the other half a world to do that with. It's just not there, Honourable Speaker. And we're built busy wasting and creating pollution and destroying the land, not just you know, now, but for all time. Once it's gone, paved over, it's gone forever. If we don't act to protect our agriculture land and our limited food uh, processing options, our scarce food security options, future generations will look at us and look back and say, you saw this coming and you did nothing. That's why I and my friends will be voting on this side of the House against Bill 24.